today because you got a lot of people sitting up in your ministry it does not matter what you preach they just ain't gonna grow y'all not saying nothing to me if you was one of them people that wasn't growing you, you should have said amen because you already declared this time next year and so what did what that what does that tell me eric that the problem was not with the soil the problem was not with the soil or the vine dresser look at your neighbor and say neighbor the problem ain't the pastor the past the problem ain't the word that she's preaching the problem ain't the word that's being released yeah i don't the problem was with the tree i'm gonna try to preach brother look at your neighbor and say point number one is you have to grow where you plant it you have to grow you have to grow where you are so what does that tell me stop church hopping oh y'all don't like it. look at somebody say neighbor you got to stop church hopping and submit where you're planted you got to settle down and decide to grow where you are don't you know the bible did not say that that tree got itself up and went to another vineyard the bible clearly said that every tree in the vineyard was producing but that one tree look at your neighbor and say neighbor the church ain't the problem you the problem wrong with the word of God that's being released here you just don't want to receive it you don't want to change you don't want to submit you think you know what's best for you and you ain't producing the past is not the only one that's supposed to produce but you the people of God are supposed to produce and when you're producing you're supposed to produce fruit of the spirit why because we are the church you ought to slap somebody high five and say we are producing we are a producing church so what does that tells me prophet you got to settle down i don't care how anointed you are you need to be anointed to obey oh my god i feel like preaching up here i said you need to be anointed to obey you will never be more anointed to your leader if you can't subject yourself to leadership i don't care how much you think you're hearing from god look at somebody and tell them you got to hear the voice of god through your man and woman of god the Bible said there was a vine dresser. What does that tell me, prophet? The tree could not take care of itself. The tree could not take care of it. So you and your anointed soul, you got to bring your gift back to the altar, Yamasha, and submit it to your leader so your leader can pull that gift up out of you, cultivate it, break it, and store it up, and then present it for the master's use. Somebody said point number two. Point number two. No mess. No message. Verse eight says, Lord, he said, the vine dresser said, Lord, our master, leave it alone this year. Also, give it another year so I can dig about it uh -huh. not after that after that God after I dig about it allow me to put some dong on it so yeah yeah I, I'm from Georgia in the country where they got to break up that ground before they plant a garden and after they break up the ground you know what they went through there did they went through there and they took out all the rocks because sometimes the word of God or sometimes that rain will come unless that ground is broken up that water sit right on top and that's what's happening in our churches today it's not that we're not preaching the word it's that that ground that heart is not broken see the only time we can get excited is when we're preaching prosperity 
If I tell you God is going to bless you with a new job, but you're not tithing, God is going to bless you with a house, but you can't pay rent. How God going to bless you with thousands, you can't handle EBT card. But that's what we get excited about. But when it comes to the fundamental truth of the gospel about submitting ourselves to leadership and producing instead of receiving all the time, we got a problem. And so God said, let me, the divine justice said, let me put some dong on it. The problem I have in the church is we're not getting the message, but we're the ones caught up in the mess. There's a difference in having mess on you and being in mess. There's a difference. I'm going to preach. There's a difference of having mess on you and being in mess. I don't know. Maybe y'all don't have it in y'all church. I got some people in my church. Every time I look around, it's the same people at the bottom of the mess. It's the same. Maybe I'm the only one. Fresh out, y'all can say amen. Just because you don't say amen don't mean it's not true. And, and so you, you look at somebody and say, we got to get the mess out of us. God wants to break up our stony hearts. He wants to break up our hardened hearts. And God has to dig up the roots. What are these roots, Diamond? Well, a lot of us 